Hey y'all, welcome back. And today we are going out on the Lockwood Explorer 2, but this time I'm taking the kids. Everybody say hi. Hi. And we are going to go out to explore their first shipwreck. So we're gonna go out and find the Whitman. Not a very common wreck, but a lot of fun. So let's go. Now that two of the kids are certified, we thought we'd go out and give them something that's a little bit of a treat. We're going to go out onto Lake Michigan. We uh, launched the boat at Racine. This is Dan. He is the owner of Love Loves Park Scuba, and we are on the Lockwood Explorer 2. So out of Racine, a couple miles north, there is a small wreck in about 10 feet of water, and it is a great beginner's wreck for them to just go explore and try new things. And this is a fun boat to have it on. Melody's done a boat dive before, but it is JJ's first time to step off the boat. And uh, this was a great experience for it. We both swam over, uh, all three of us swam over to the buoy and uh, went down. Now this one doesn't have a standard buoy on it, it uh, so we had to find it with a sonar and then mark it ourselves. And of course, it's a great chance to play around and, and explore. There were lots of other little things around the wreck we could go and find. Uh, it wasn't just the, the main wreck itself. The main wreck itself is about 100 feet long or a little longer. The original ship was 117. And it's mostly just the substructure with the frames and, uh, and keel. But it is a lot of fun and a great chance to go explore it from one end to the other. The Whitman was a two-masted schooner that sank in 1869. Uh, it ran aground and was torn apart on the rocks, and so there isn't a whole lot that's left of it but the, the bottom. This is a great one for the kids to experiment with and uh, learn how to swim without running into things and how to maintain your buoyancy and maintain control and uh, try to stay horizontal rather than going vertical. And You know, all those things that you just have to learn by doing. Uh, and they get to experience it by playing on a wreck and actually uh, seeing history firsthand, a place that not everyone gets to go. And with this wreck, it's a little over 100 feet long. You can swim from one end to the other, and then you can go explore around it looking for other pieces that were uh, broken off. And uh, it's not in great condition, but there are a lot of little gobies and things like that that are hiding in it, and a chance for the kids to explore and try something new. We ended up doing two dives on this one, and each time going, getting to go down and uh, see a different portion of it, look a little closer at one area or the other, and just in general have a little bit of fun. And the kids, uh, yeah, they did have a lot of fun. They were talking about all one up, up one side and down the other. And JJ, this was his uh, ninth and tenth dive, and uh, what a way to do it. Lake Michigan has thousands of wrecks to go explore, and we will be uh, spending some time looking at a few other ones. This is a good one to go out and have a bit of fun throughout the day. And yes, Melody likes to uh, spin and twirl and do other things in the water. And it's a great way to just learn. And uh, diving is one of those things that you are always growing on. But when you're first beginning, there are so many things to, to, to cover. It's a good way to do it, to have a little bit of fun. Everyone who was on that ship that fateful day survived. And I wonder if they realized how much fun they were creating by running their wreck aground. But uh, yes, hundreds of years later, here we are having a good bit of time. So after two dives, it's time to get back on the boat, go back to Racine, and uh, create memories and fill out the logbook. And this was a fun one. We will be doing lots of other shipwreck dives in the future because uh, Dan always likes to go out. He has a fantastic boat for it. This thing is just a lot of fun. And of course, we did have Arthur on the boat as well. He got to stay with Captain Dan and enjoy the time up there. The kids created lots of memories, and I did as well. This is a great way to experience history and have a lot of fun, and what better way to do it than underwater? Yeah, scuba diving. This is a blast. Looking forward to the next one.